Greetings. Cometh thou to confess or to accuse? For today is Friday, and the weekend is soon. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our in-depth adventure through the lands between. We have quite a few visual effects going on right now. It's a heck of a way to start the episode. We have the nice little glow from the, as you can see, the little foot icon up under our green bar. We're getting the additional runes because it's nighttime and the uh, the embers or the, the flakes of the Erd tree are upon us, which is going to increase the amount of runes that we take in. And we also have the Frenzied Flame Eyeballs, which, I mean, especially in the dark like this, are you kidding me? Look at that. Oh, yeah. So, here's what we're going to do. On today's agenda, we are going to... First, we're going to check our equipment just to make sure that we're, we're good. Okay, awesome. The first thing I want to do is I want to go take care of this Knight's Cavalry that spawns just in front of where the gargoyle is at night. Look at me, Squidward, I'm swabbing the bathroom at night. Where are you, you coward? Man, I tell you, the only thing I really dislike about the snow biome all the snow levels in general, every single part of the Forbidden Lands, like Consecrated Snowfield, all that stuff. The only thing I don't really like about it is I don't like how visually poor it is. Like, look at this. Look at this fog, man. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm looking for a freaking giant dude on a black horse with a huge halberd. Like, how can you miss him, right? And yet here I am, running around like, can't find the dude the hell is this I think he's towards this way like when the when the the ground kind of splits apart really and then we have these jerks too yeah I think I think he's over this way there he is <laughs> you missed So this is a really shitty spot to fight him into. I just want to point that out. Oi, he still got me. Interesting. All right, sorry about that, Torrent. Didn't mean to just get you swatted at. There's a lot of trees in here and kind of make it a little, little difficult for him to hit us. But the problem is, with just like with any other knight's cavalry we really want to be able to control this guy's movements so we can get him to do the attack we want which is that and this is probably not the best weapon to fight him with but i don't want to change i really like this weapon a lot even though uh for some reason i'm totally aiming towards the ground despite okay so i can i can change it that's fine get stabbed man you don't know nothing about this this red electricity, this Gohan beast aura. Bro, you are not gonna get that attack on me. Like, do you know how many fucking trees are in here? Ow! Okay, that you can hit me with. Only because I waited for it. But nah, that shit where you drag it across the ground, you're not gonna hit me with that, man. Sorry. Ay. <sighs> Then we have that to deal with. It's just like, this is a terrible place to fight this guy. Terrible, man. I'm gonna hit you! Just sit still. Do the, the thing. Do the thing. Do what I want you to do. Don't do that. You're not gonna hit me with that, man. There's too much stuff going on in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when he does what I want him to do, this is an annoying place to fight. And then we miss. So that's honestly, like, all the motivation I need to completely swap this thing real quick, because this is not the weapon that's going to be able to hit him. This is what we need. We'll do more damage, too. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Why don't you just make this easy on both of us, huh? Why don't you do what I want you to do, and do it now. Thank you. Okay, so... Does not do more damage to the horse, but... Ow. Did more damage to him, though, which is nice. Alright. 
Ugh. Trying to stay like just out of reach of that thing, which is hard to do because it's quite a big weapon. You're not gonna hit me with that, man. Why don't you just here? You just calm down. Do what I want you to do. Ow! I was supposed to sprint to the side. He's almost halfway dead. At the rate I'm getting hit, we will run out of flasks. <laughs> so I might want to step my game up a little bit. There we go. Yeah! You know what I want, man. You know exactly what I want. It's not that. Quit getting stuck on trees, man. Will you just... Will you just do like that regular slash that I want? Will you do that sideways hit? Pretty please. Pretty please with uh, Margit on top. Now you think you're gonna get me with that double, do you? Uh! Uh! Where are you going? I might kill him before the horse. <laughs> That's like kind of what I hope for. Come on, man. Do it. There you go. Oh my god! How does he keep hitting me? It's like that halberd, I'm telling you, man, especially when there's fog like this, that halberd has such deceptive range. Like, I swear to fuck, I was not in range of that attack, but like. Maybe he's doing that thing that, uh, what's that guy's name from Kenshin? The dude he fought that had the striped arms and he emitted the gas from his mask. And, uh, you know who I'm talking about. I don't have to give any more detail than that if, if you've seen what I'm talking about. But that guy, maybe that's the same thing. Maybe the, maybe this guy's letting out some kind of chemical, you know? Dude, you're so dead. Just, just let me end it. Yeah! Now come here. Gonna bring you down, boy. Really? Is he immune to the Frenzy Flame? Well, it's not gonna save you. Get dead, boy. And then we get Phantom Slash. So this guy is probably the easiest of all the Knight's Cavalries to miss. I can say that confidently because for one, you're not gonna see his ass in the fog, right? Like, you're not. It's, he's so easy to miss. So Phantom Slash is a skill inspired by the fond remembrances of the Knight's Cavalry. Creates an apparition of the Knight's former instructor who guides a joint <laughs> lunging upward swing. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. And this, I believe this Ash of War, as it is, wants to scale with strength, I think. But we might equip it and play around with it for a bit, just because it's cool. And then the next order of business is we want to get up here, man. We're going to go do Hoslo, Juno. So let's go back to the Zamor Ruins, where we unlock this grace. And the Zamor Ruins... Um, I'm trying to think what it is off the top of my head. There's something really important in these ruins, though, like something really good that we want. It's either a bell bearing or, or something notable for our build that we want. We're going to need to summon the jellyfish around here, too, because it's there's like a quest with the jellyfish that's kind of interesting. The spirit ash. It has a sibling or something like that. Something along those lines. I don't know... I don't remember all the precise details of when I did it. The only thing I can tell you is I will I will remember exactly where it is when we see it. It's all you got to worry about. Um, the other thing I don't recall is that there's any like fake ground over here anywhere. And the only way to find out is to try. Let's go up here into the actual ruins where the bad guys are. Ooh. This guy gonna give us extra runes, man. Whoa! He's got a lot of health. <laughs> Alright, so anybody in a snow biome isn't gonna like fire, right? Like that much, we you know for sure. So let's give him some fire. Yeah! Oh my god, of course he's gonna jump. Of course he's gonna jump. 
How much freaking poise do you have, man? Yeah. Okay, how about lightning? If it'll hit. Wow. Okay, so lightning does more. So we think. Okay, no. This clearly does more. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Ugh. Fine. I'm gonna deal with you the best way I know how. Really? Okay, so even with my barricade shield, y'all are not gonna bounce, are you? No, don't do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh! Wow. These dudes have more poise than fucking Havel. What is going on here? Damn. And their poise doesn't get broken either. That was like four. Four guard counters I landed on that guy. Only reason I even messed with that guy was just to get my flask back. Because, like, it wasn't worth it at that point. Um, alright. The rest of these guys I probably will not fight through here. Because, like, as you can see, it's clearly not worth it. They don't drop anything that matters to me. Come on. And I really just want to get the items out of these ruins. That's really all I care about. Um... The only thing else I may do with them, potentially, is I probably will see if you can put them to sleep or something, but that is the extent of it. My friends, if I can... See, there's a guy sitting there, like, right on the ledge. He's just looking at him. He's just waiting for trouble. He's petting his little dead bird, spirit bird. I don't know. I can't tell if these things are dead or not. Like, I don't know if the... <sighs> Oops. Overshot it. I was trying to... No fake wall. I can't tell if the, the beings here are spectral or if they're spiritual or I don't know if those are the same thing. Okay, that this might be the item that I was talking about, but we got baddies. <laughs> be nice and sneaky. I don't want no trouble. Don't give me up, you little wombat. Dead wombat. Samurai Ice Storm. That is not the item I wanted. Not the... There we go. I need to get down in there. That's what I need. Okay. Is there anything in here? Nope. Okay. Let's head down. Nice. Here we go. It's time for goodies. There we go. The Smithing Stone Miner Bell Bearing 3. Let's see. what It should tell us what tier of mining stones we should get from that. Um, yeah, man. Fives and sixes. Thank God. All right. And then this. We have to give this to. Got that from the last, uh, the last Bell Bearing Hunter that we fought. Great. So I don't care about the rest of this nonsense. Now we can just uh, grab whatever items are left, zoom past these guys, you know? You know what I'm saying? These guys are too strong, man. Like, there's there's no point in fighting these guys. Like, what, what do they even drop that's worth it? Why do we care? There's only one more item down here that we need to get, and then we're done. We're running back to the grace. Here we go. Yeah, man. Oh boy, our first catacomb is up there too. What a blast. So I had sort of brushed over this in my last video's description, but I will say it to you verbally so that there's no confusion and that everybody knows what's going on. That's the consecrated snowfield, by the way, if you didn't know. It's the lower tier. Uh, we need to use the secret medallion to get down there because there's an upper and a lower level. Nice, we can level up. More health, because we're going to die. Um, I will say verbally to you guys, so everybody knows what's going on. The, uh... I'm going to stick with this. 
Forget it. I'm just gonna keep it. This area, this forbidden lands, all this nonsense up here. Look at that man. Stormhawk up there. I am not going to cover every last inch of this place. I'm not going to fight every single enemy. I'm not even going I'm not even gonna mess with every single mob. Like I'm just not doing it, man. I'm not. So Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. When I have a horse, y'all are not a problem. It's when I don't have a horse. <laughs> That's when things get hairy. Uh, this level, all of it, matter of fact, the entire Forbidden Lands, even the lower portion, like the Consecrated Snowfield and all that, is not only is it just straight up too big, like there's no point in fighting all the the mobs there, like because you don't, you don't get anything special for doing that, for one. Uh, the other thing is, it's uh, it's not ideal because all the the enemies here. Yeah, we gotta go get that item real quick. All the enemies here suck, dude. Like, this is not even the be. This isn't even like a percentage of the shit we're gonna have to deal with here. And you'll see what I mean as we progress. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't want to miss that. Well, is there another bird? Come here, boy. Come here. Another one? Where did you come from? Row hit him! Come here. We're gonna have to stop playing chicken at some point. Alright. Now we need to drop back down where we were except the problem is I learned in the one of the last episodes that apparently torrent is quite a bit more squishy than we thought and we'll die super duper easily so I'd rather be sure um, I don't like how in particularly once you get out in like the consecrated snowfield and stuff like where the where the flame giant is eventually you're gonna run into groups of like yetis like they're they're stone digger trolls they're giants you know but they're covered in like white fur so i just call them yetis came back for beast blood i hate my life um and then you also have like the giant crows right like those giant undead crows that you see in caleb but out here they have even more health and they're even worse and then you also have hanzilla out here which <laughs> and it sounds exactly like what i said it's uh Godzilla-sized hand. And it is the devil. You're right. Everything you're thinking right now, all the assumptions you're making, the conclusions you're drawing, the, the preconceived notions that you are crafting in your head right now about a handzilla, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's just as bad as it sounds. He's huge. He's unstoppable. I hate him. So let's see. The cliff wraps around right there, and then it just runs back into the rest of the ruins, it looks like, but we've already done all of that. So. Cool. Means it's time to wrap back around, start following the trail, and we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit our next mark, man. What does it say? The story of House Hoslo is written in, or the tale of House Hoslo is written in blood. I think that's what he said. Would hate to break tradition. So it is that way, but we're gonna have to go find this little path here to get to it. Sorry, don't mean to bang my controller against the desk. I'm sure that's noisy and irritating. All right. A little do a little bit of goat parkour shall we oh, more birds I think I would like to blast the bird I think that's the best course of action for me <laughs> fried chicken wings when you think there'd be more of them Birds are like raptors, man. 
Hunting packs. That's when the attack comes. Not from the front, but from the side. Whoosh! The other two Stormhawks, you didn't even know were there. The point is, you are alive when they start to eat you. Name that movie. If you can't, shame on you. Why am I glad I missed? <laughs> all right, we're getting all the stuff. Sit still. Shoot you right in the asshole. <laughs> Fried chicken booty. I'm checking these trees because you never know when they're. Look, there's our first Yeti. <laughs> Woo! Look at that big guy. Look at that angry son of a bitch. <laughs> He's like, I'm cold, I'm stuck in this mountain, I don't want to be here, I don't want to do this. And here he is, just doing it. He's angry, I get it. Alright, moving on. Could have swore I heard another bird somewhere. There it is. Alright, let's see how birds respond to the rock. Oh, didn't like that, did you? They don't like lightning either. I don't think these birds like damage in general. <clears throat> I think uh, I think hurting them in general is just they don't like that. Sounds sounds about right. I don't like being hurt either, but okay. We're gonna roast that guy. Give me one second. Make sure there's no friends to back him up. <laughs> Not quite as much as the Frenzy Flame, but that still did quite a bit. And this place has interesting atmospheric music too. It's it's not as good as the subterranean shunning grounds, but it's still it's still interesting. What is that? Is that a Is that a Yeti? No, okay. <laughs> Thought it was. Okay, this part's gonna require some stealth. I believe lightning is most effective against these guys as far as the damage type, the damage that we can do. What's this guy doing? This guy was just praying. Damn. Oh, yeah. We be one tapping these guys with this lightning. I'm a big fan. And that big boy down there. <clears throat> let's take a look at what he's got going on. So that looks like a whip. A thorny red whip. Looks like fun. We got a purple item down next to him. What's he doing? Is he doing that thing from Wolf of Wall Street? The... <laughs> you. I don't really need you, but I want you. Oh yeah, you're not surviving that. Did he survive? Did I not get my flask back? Well, I guess I was maxed out. I, I won't get it back. <laughs> His health bar looked like zero to me. All right, so for this, <clears throat> what we're going to do, let me see if I can get him with a non-charged. I don't want to fall. Oh, yeah, even a non-charged one, and they're done. They're done. And it's so fast. It's significantly faster than lightning bolts, so, like, they're, there's no way. They're not getting away from that. Okay, I don't see any more. This is 100% the smartest thing to do on this part, by the way. Because these... You kidding me. These small fries really aren't that dangerous by themselves. <clears throat> but if you get them at the same time as the big guy, it gets a little hairy. <clears throat> Let me take a drink of my cold brew. God, I'm drying up. 
Okay. <coughs> Jeez. I'm wore out, man. I've got this big work event coming up <clears throat> that I'm really excited for. I don't want to look good for it, okay? I have this goal in mind. I want to be down a couple pants sizes by the time this work event comes together because our last work event that we did work flew me out to Boston. And it was great, man. I had an awesome time. I got to network with people that were inspirational and important to me. Try to run backwards. That didn't work. You know, the Flame Giant uses that same attack, but it's significantly more dangerous when he does it. Yeah, you want to boogie with the bear? It's like a staff, dude. It's a whip staff. That's kind of cool. I like that. Can you get that weapon? I never thought about that. Wow. That whip sucked. I do know you can get their helmet. Like, the helmet is, uh, the helmet's pretty cool. It just does exactly what it looks like. It shoots fire out while you're fighting. But anyway, um, I, I got all these pictures with people because, like, I, I don't know, I tend to... I tend to, to connect really well with people in good work environments, and there's that catacomb. We'll get that in just a second. And so naturally, when I got there, a lot of people that I've only seen virtually, like I've only seen them on Zoom meetings and stuff like that, and group trainings over Zoom because we're a remote company now, um, I've not seen, there's the next, this is our next uh, Briar Sorcery. We got the baby version of that, now we got the good one. Um, I tend to <clears throat> bond really well with people in, in environments where really hardworking and dedicated people are, because it's like, that's me, that's kind of worker I am. I'm like, I'm a go-getter, man. I fuck shit up at work. So there's a lot of people where I work now that are like that, a lot of go-getters, a lot of high-energy people that are just like, fuck it, why do, why do what we're supposed to do? Let's just like... <clears throat> let's go above and beyond. Let's be the best we can be. And those are the kind of people I thrive with. Those are the kind of environments I like working in. And, uh, well, a lot of people that I met in this recent trip where I went to Boston were like that. So a lot of people um, that I've never seen in person <clears throat> were just like, oh my God, Trace, you're real. I've only ever seen like your chest and up on Zoom. And, and you know, it was, it was very cool, a very good experience. But the problem is I hated every single picture that I saw myself in. Every single picture, man, I was just like, oh my god, is that me? Do I fucking look like that? So, I, uh, I don't know. I kind of started thinking to myself, that's not till December. I got time. So, I kind of been making a lot of changes lately and all of this background information every single thing that i'm like blabbing to you guys about right now that you don't give a shit about i knew that was coming is uh just for the sake of explaining to you guys why i'm sore and why my body hurts so uh the reason i'm sore is because uh i decided that i need to make some changes right i need to I don't like any of the pictures of me from our recent work event. I'm very disgusted with the majority of them because I just hate, like, how overweight I look. I'm very, very irritated about that. So I told myself, you know what? I got until December to do something about it because our next work event is going to be in Orlando, Florida. And it's going to be, like, the big boy of work events. It's the yearly sales conference where everybody gets together. And I don't drink or anything. But uh, I do know that uh, the big appeal with this work event... Did you see that MLG block? Did you see the way... That was like... That was like Sharingan in real time, dude. I like... I got the, gal the guard counter and was able to block the knife in time. And then drop my guard just in time to get that counter off. That was... Wow. I'm really proud of that. Because normally I'm trash at this game. But, uh, ooh, tier 7, hell yeah. Know where we're going to farm those. 
But anyway, um, the, the big giant sales conference where everybody gets together and they do like open bar and they, they put us in a five-star hotel and then they pay for all of our food and just let us rack up our company credit card and just really let us go fucking wild. <laughs> um, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. All the people on my team are just like, dude, you have no idea how awesome the sales conference is every year. And uh, I'm excited about it because... I believe them. I really like my team. I get along with my team incredibly well. They're awesome people. I like them a lot. Oh boy, here we go. Gotta figure out how to open the door. Um, but I want to look good, man. I want to look good for this conference because, like, I don't know, just knowing, knowing how I look, and like seeing these pictures of me from our last, like in-person training event where they flew us out somewhere and I don't know I don't want to look like that man I don't want to look yeah you see this you see that more than one way to skin a cat as McLeach said oh god that's annoying I bet you I don't need to charge it for this guy oh I do okay yeah All right, and I bet there's one hanging up top, isn't there? They would. No? Okay. Yeah. 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 Get fucked. So anyway, um, yeah, man, I, I just, like, I don't know. I had this inspiration. I was like, I hate the way I look in all those pictures. I, I don't like it at all. And... I set this goal for myself. I was like, man, I gotta be down like a couple pants sizes for this engagement event, this, this big sales conference, because uh, I'm sure it's gonna be pictures galore again because there's gonna be even more people there that I haven't met yet and people I've already met with that I'm gonna get even more pictures with. And I just wanna look good for it, man. I just wanna look good. So what I've been doing is, well, he heard me kill his children. <laughs> what is that? Is that a projectile? Oh, okay. I don't know what he was just doing right there. Never seen that before. So... What I've been doing to try to, like, hit my goal and, like, drop this weight and look better for this conference is I'm doing what anybody else who wants to lose weight would do. I'm, uh, this statue is oddly placed. I'm starving myself and exercising, so. So what I've been eating is, uh... Pretty much nothing but broccoli and uh, asparagus, chicken breast, and which sucks for me because I love to cook, man, and I'm really, really fucking good at cooking unhealthy stuff. That's the problem. Oh, saw that after it was too late, but again, <laughs> sharing gun. I ain't gonna get caught. So, yeah, man, just been eating stuff that is incredibly bland and boring and not satisfying to eat at all, which is how, how normal people, people are supposed to eat if they don't want to be overweight, right? So, oh, God, the soul jars of fortune. So, yeah, that's kind of been it for me, man, is uh, eating, eating like that. And then, yes, come here. And then I've been exercising, and the exercising that I've been doing has been more on, like, the high-intensity side, so. I wonder if that thing can kill them. I doubt it, but... Yeah, I've been spending, uh... Four to five nights a week, man. I've been doing high-intensity stuff that is, uh... Makes my body hurt. Is there going to be an imp in here somewhere? 
You would think, right? Guess not. So yeah, there you go. There's your giant rant that you didn't ask for about my life. I'm uh, my my weight loss endeavors and uh, my goals and what I want to do. Are these scarlet rot ones? No, they're poison. Okay, here we can do this. Um. Poison throwing knives ought to do it, I would think. <sighs> Can't, though. Do I have a poison weapon on me? That would help. Nope. I need to make some uh, poison throwing knives. That's what I need. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do I already have a bunch? No way. I have a ton. <laughs> Here we go. Let's make them go wild. Like that? No? Yeah! satisfying way to kill these guys, man. Ooh. Man, it's stank in there. I want to breathe that shit in. How about now? I keep thinking there's an enemy I could probably lure in here and use that against them, though. Whatever. Man, they just blow up, like... Look at that. Dude, that's literally what happens to me when I eat Taco Bell. Like, you're watching it happen in real time. That cheesy gordita crunch is just like a nuke. Pillage? Corpse? Where? The hell? They dropped a golden room? That's interesting, but it was in the floor? Alright. No arguments from me. Nothing but pots up here, dude. It's just pots. What happens if I step on this? I don't see an actual trap anywhere. I'm doing it. Oh. It's all the way in there. Okay. Uh, let's drop down here first. Cool. Oh my god. Butter. God. I don't like it when they do that, okay? I don't. I feel like... Wait a minute. Well, he was a long way from home. We need to go back up this way, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the way. Oh, they can get hit by it. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. So you. What's with this guy? He's just n normal, dude. Were you always there? I don't think you were. I could have swore that was, uh... No oh, shit. Did I go the same way again? It's gonna be... Ew! Is it another fucking... It's another mirage. It's another... <laughs> it's another yuck. Don't like that. What? Where did he go? Where the hell did you go, man? No! He's using the thing. 
So that's what that is. I 100% thought he was about to throw something at me, dude. Like, I've never actually seen them cast that before. I usually kill them too fast, or I don't stick around to find out. Alright. I'm running through this. I don't give a shit. Ah. Uh... I hate this. I hate that this game is doing this to me. Yeah! Easy peasy. Even if it's just one hitting him. I don't give a damn. Man, see, I should have... I should have gone in here first on the other one then, because now I feel like I missed out on something. Darn. Drat. Fuck. Alright. Get as many as we can hold, because who knows how many it'll take to poison this big boy. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Explosive. Why am I still using this? Go back to my beloved. I'm going to drop down here. Deal with some more bullshit. Looks like it. <laughs> nope. I ain't getting hit by that. All right. Is it going to take me back into the same exact spot? I think it is. You fucking... Nope, wrong button. Let's see what lightning does. Damn. These are just land squirts, dude. Like, they're not even supposed to be tough. Alright, but we know that we're going to get... We know that we're going to get a death root, which we can feed to our buddy Gurong. Let's see if there's any fake walls, huh? Let's just like pick a couple. So I don't want to spend all day doing this, but we must do our due diligence. We're professionals. What's that? Oh, hi! Ah! And timing is a little annoying on that, but. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Get snipe nuked. Get snooked. So I guess I gotta go this way now. Probably. Just spitballing, you know. It's just a wild guess. All right. Who wants some? Who's where? And why? Hello. Fuck you. Oh, I'm out. Uh-oh. Should have known that was going to happen. Wow. Where did they come from? Holy shit. Okay. Let's retreat. Yes. Come on down. <laughs> come with me. Yes, there's plenty for everybody. Ooh! That was rough. <laughs> mm. Mm. Alright. Where the hell did 
did they come from, man? That was dirty. I'm surprised I even survived that shit. Goodness. All right, let's play around, shall we? Let's experiment with damage against this guy. See if you like the frenzy. Doesn't look like it. Oh no! Can I get you to come all the way out here? That'd be awesome. Yeah, come on out here, man. <laughs> I want to see something. Come here. No, 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 no. Come here. Yeah, big rock to the back of the head. You don't like that, do you? Come here. Yes. Come here, come here. Ooh. Not like that. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Damn it. I'm trying to get him to... Yes! Hey, wait a minute. Did y'all see that? How did you survive that? So fall damage is just like null to these guys, apparently. They don't give a shit, dude. Oh no, I'm out. Let's drink up. Guarantee he can hit through the wall, so need to be careful. That's dirty, man. You see that down there? Okay, 392. Ah, oh, that definitely does the best. Look at that. Do you see this? Dirty. Why can't I lock on? That's... Hey, all right, here we go. I regret this. Cowabunga it is. Oh, God. Did I fall down again? Come down here. I'm gonna beat your ass, man. No, 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 no. He's too big to fit through the doorway? No, 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 no. Wait, that's the wrong way. I think it dropped me all the way back down to the first one. Hey, yeah, see, look. Yep. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> That's kind of stupid. Okay. That means I might be able to hit that room I missed. Yeah, man, all the land squirts are dead. I didn't kill them all in the original one, so that means... Yes, instead of... Uh, Instead of immediately going for the hole in the grass. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get that item I missed. Oh, shit. Not if this guy has anything to say about it. What, are you going to command these guys? you going to make them come alive? Oh, yeah. Who else is in here waiting for me? Huh? Who wants peace? this oh thank god glad we got back glad we got back here and got to that because ritual pots man those are important okay so where was i this way right right here yeah 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 i'm back Let's get this guy a bad time. Um, bat. This should work. <laughs> Can't believe.
believe that worked. The fuck are you looking at? Man, I don't want to kill these guys. I don't. Dirty of them to hide this here. Good thing I looked. I don't want to have to kill these guys, but, like, they leave me no choice, man. I was trying to bust my chops. Okay, what about down here? What's this? Oh, is it just... Yeah, okay. Okay. So we need to go... There's nothing beneath that one. We do not need to go this way. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, we need to go back up. And then we gotta go back behind where that uh, angry kitty was. Erd Tree Burial Watchdog. I think that's what it's called, right? Something like that. Oh, God. So yeah, we gotta drop down through the little maze thing again, and uh, that should take us there, shouldn't it? One would think. Yes, right down here. And then we'll drop down, and then the <clears throat> that's where the pot was. So we'll take this back up. Cause I'm sure there's got to be something up there in that room he was in, right? They put such a, such an irritant enemy inside there. It has to be protecting something, you would think. Hmm. Man, I love my cold brew. I just do. It's like my little comfort beverage when I play this. The problem is the calories that I'm taking in on the cold brew, once I'm done recording this episode and ready to edit it and stuff, I'm going to have to gonna have to work out a little bit to try to burn the rest of those calories, because something that uh Oh my god, root resin. Okay, that was pretty good, but the root resin was the corpse item. Like, oh there's gotta be something good on that body if there's a watchdog watching it. Like, nah dude. It's just some root resin. All right, now we gotta get back to the door. Which, that's probably gonna be way more confusing than it sounds. I hope not, but got a feeling. Woo-hoo. <laughs> All right, let's see if it's this way, maybe. Yeah, I struggle with the concept of having to burn more than you take in because, like, I don't want to work out and sweat, man. I don't want to, but I gotta. Okay, yes, this is familiar. Like, I just want to eat delicious food and drink sugary drinks, man. Like, that's what I want to do. <laughs> that's how I want to spend my time. I can't. can't do that. is a waste of time so yeah to make up for well i guess there's not like there's not very m much calories carbs rather carbs are kind of the bad thing there's not many of either in this uh what the fuck am i trying to do man where am i going not that way clearly yay all right let's try this again shall we no, we want to go back down. We go down, 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 down. All right. Yes, this is where we want to go. Not... We're going to check. Just because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I truly have no idea. It can't be that way. It can't. It's not. It's impossible. We're going to take 
the other lift up. So I've decided that we are going to go this way this time. We need to. Oops. Yeah. My coffee, the way I have it, isn't super bad for you. It's got oat milk, which is non-dairy. That's nice. It's easier on your immune system. It's lower calories. It's almost like straight fat content. The only change I could make to it is I really like... I really am a fan of caramel flavoring, man. And... They offer a sugar-free one, but it literally tastes like butthole, and I don't know, man. I don't like it. Come on, please be a door. Yes! Give me that root resin. Not gonna do nothing with it. Ha <laughs> ha here we go. I don't even care if this is the right weapon for this fight. Let's kick some ass. Oh no. This is definitely the wrong weapon for this fight, and I care immediately. Oh god. Fucking ulcerated tree spirit, dude. Alright. Fire. Fire! Uh. Flame grant me strength. Go. Come on, Hughes. I need you to live. Eat fire! Oh yeah, that damage. Oh shit. Whee! Oh, he didn't even go for me. Good. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna head slam again. Eat. Get him, Hughes. Magic bonk him. Yes, get get the gavel. Oh shit. No, I'm not gonna. Wait, what was I casting? Was I still casting Black Flame? That was weird. Oh, I wasn't casting anything because I'm out of Juju. My Go Go Juice was empty. Still got gotcha. you. Oh, yes. Alright. You go for Hughes, okay? I kind of want to test this out and see how much it does. Oh, shit. Not hit me with that. Oh, no. I. That attack doesn't always hit more than once. Shit. But when it does, it's ugly. Are you? That was annoying. Yes, here we go. This is my chance. Yeah. Oh, yes, it does a lot. <laughs> oh, he's down. Good job, Hughes. Thank you for the golden seed. Thank you for glove wart pickers, bell bearing. Good job, Hughes. Look at this guy. He slow walks away from the defeated enemy because he knows. He knows they don't stand a chance. Mimic! Death root. Okay. Let's go see our buddy Gurunk. It's be a good way to end the episode. What an awkward episode this has been. We haven't really made a whole lot of progress in the game. All we did was, like, we did a, uh, we did the ruins, and then we did a catacomb, and then you guys had to hear about my weight loss goals and my motivations behind them, my strides, my afflictions, <laughs> uh, the way I like my coffee. You guys have had to... You know what I thought was going to happen right there? I thought we were going to show up here, Gurunk was going to be gone, and I was going to look behind me, and he was just going to be behind me. Like, Umaiwamu, Shindu. Oh, good thing that didn't happen. We'll come back and get this gargoyle at some point. He's just, he's bad, dude. He's so bad. Why did he give us another death route if we can't give it to him? Wait a minute. Where the hell have you been, man? You think you can just disappear like that whenever you want? Yeah, eat up. Who's a good boy? A big boy died to eat. I won't forget. Again. My appetite. My sin. I must have more. I must consume.
the Beast Claw Great Hammer. He's like Zoidberg from the episode with the anchovies. More! More! Alright, let's take a look at this badass hammer. D in strength, D in dex, D in faith. And it is in fact a great hammer. It is not your regular kind. Great hammer with a striking and modeled to resemble five beastly claws. Hmm. A striking end modeled to resemble five beastly claws. Okay. The black nails protruding from golden fur are said to represent Sirash, Lord of Beasts, who went on to become King Godfrey's regent. And it has Regal Beast Claw. Um, yeah, man, check that shit out. That's cool. And we're gonna... We're gonna see Sirash, believe me. He's, uh... Oh, yeah. Man, that's cool. I like that. Can you chain it? Doesn't look like it. No chaining. Let's see if you can charge it. Nope. Alright. Still cool. It's a great ability. This thing does holy damage. It's honestly an ideal weapon for us, but the problem is it primarily becomes a strength scaling weapon. I think as you continue to upgrade it, it gets more... It gets a bonus scaling and strength, which is not for us. But let's rest it to grace and see if Gurung will attack us again. I think it only happens once per play, like once per quest. I think if you, okay, yeah, I think he does not actually attack you. Here is what I'm curious about: is if you're good enough, like if you're strong enough and able to beat him, like right here and right now, does he just not show up later? <laughs> like, can you kill him for good if you can beat him now? Because I'm not going to lie, I'm really not looking forward to his other form. Bunch of bullshit, that. Okay. So, we probably didn't want to go here. Yeah, this is, why would I go there? Let's go here. Yeah, this is where we'll leave off, because this is, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, bridge should be... Just out that way. Yeah, cool. All right. Awesome. We're going to go across that bridge, and uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of fun waiting for us. That guy's not going to shoot at us or anything. Of course not. Anytime he sees somebody, you know, trying to cross the bridge with his giant uh, arrows that are meant for knocking people off of bridges, uh, he, he certainly would, wouldn't shoot at us. You know, he's a nice guy. He's one of the nice flame golems that... Uh, will not shoot at us. Can you tell how excited I am to not get shot at by that guy? Because he won't shoot us. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode of the in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I hope you guys have a great weekend.